this will be a walkthrough of the um, hardware of the motion platform. Um, just starting here with the ANET A8 3D printer, which I built from a kit. Um, that was a lot of fun to put it together and made a few mods. Not that they really needed it. Some of them were done for safety reasons. One of the necessary mods I made really for safety was to solder the hotbed wires directly to the hotbed without going through the connector. So these are silicon uh, wires, thicker than the ones that were provided. Um, they've known to um, get very hot and with the movement uh, some users have had some quite severe problems with, with that part of the build. The second thing I did was to, there's a MOSFET driver for the hotbed. This reduces the load on the motherboard for the 3D printer, again just for safety reasons. Some of you would be probably wondering like how much space does this need? I've got about 400 mil between the wall and the back of the simulator and there's about 400 mil on the uh, right hand side as well. Could be a bit less than this. When I was doing the initial testing and had everything at 100%, yeah, it hit the wall. So I moved it away and uh, reduced all the settings down to about 30%. So we'll, I'll gradually increase them as they begin to understand how all these pieces fit together. I'll start with the base frame. This is simply 90 by 35 pine, 35 mil uh, between them. If you make them too narrow, you won't get your socket spanner in there, um, which you're going to need to later. There's a universal joint which connects the actuator to the bottom frame. There's two spot welds, a MIG welded, one on either side. This is to stop it from twisting and this screw will also stop the whole assembly from twisting. The main weight or the strength of this is a M12 threaded rod it goes through this uh, plate bolted on underneath. It's one of these M12 nylock nuts. It's just enough space to get a chip. Uh, socket spanner in there. 